this is Ruth Therese with One Inspiring Woman, and today we are talking about moonology. We are talking about our last quarter moon in the sign of Aries, and that's July 1st through July 10th. It really depends on where you are and what time zone you're in. It could be July 9th, but it could also be July 10th, and so I kind of just picked and choose, and I put July 10th. So that is kind of what we're dealing with right now. So let's talk about our Aries energy coming from our moon. Aries is very initiative. Kind of like, what do I need to do? Or what do I need to take care of things? Or what do I need to get into? And then we've also got this really very independent energy with our Aries moon. And it's kind of like, what do we require adding our courage and our brainstorming ability, um, our on-the-spot decision-making? Kind of like, what do we need to do right now to make this better? Um, and kind of pr promoting uh, like ourselves. What do we need to bring into this energy at this point? So let's kind of go into our third quarter moon, our last quarter moon, and kind of like this is a really great time to start letting things go. Things that haven't been working from our uh, new moon, kind of like what's not working or what do we need to change? Stepping into our own courage with the Aries energy, do we need to change or shift or adjust? What do we, what do we ourselves need to do? Not what everybody else needs to do. What do we need to do? Um, this is a great time to also kind of step into um like what do we want to change so many times people say i want everybody else to change but the problem is it's we that have to change we have to choose differently for ourselves and then once we do everybody else will, around us will have to change shift or adjust to us that's kind of the cool part um so it's one of those this is a great time if you've been stuck in what you've been afraid of or not moving into the energy now is the signal this moon is kind of giving you a kick in the side to kind of like we need to get going so this moon is about letting go releasing and cleansing at the same time let's pull a couple of cards and see what other energy is coming through so balance this is a great time to kind of start balancing our energy in this moon and i know a lot of us have been working really hard um, setting our goals in our last full moon just uh, last week and this is a great time to kind of balance that energy plus we've got the 4th of July and this is usually a great time that we get with our friends and our family and barbecue and see parades or see fireworks and this is a great family time so it kind of puts us back in balance with our family but we should also take some time for ourselves what is it for ourselves that we need to do maybe that's just sleeping in late or maybe it's having breakfast in bed with our family something that we need to shift or adjust to make it better for ourselves. Self-acceptance. We were just talking about this. If you accept you, then other people will accept you. So many times people are like, oh my gosh, I walked into the room and no one felt like I was accepted. Well, were you accepting of yourself? Because that's the energy you brought in and everybody in that room is just mirroring that back to you. So several weeks ago, I went to a friend's um, bridal shower and there were several people there that I didn't know there was only like one or two people that I walked into the room and like really knew who they were so I walked in this room and there's like 30 to 40 people in this room kind of overwhelming I don't know but like I said two or three of them and most of those I just kind of knew in passing from her talking about them and I went and set my purse down and I was just kind of took a deep breath and I said Ruth you have two ways you can do this you can turn around and pick up your purse and walk out and Nobody will know the difference. Or you can choose to step into your own power and change your own energy. So I set my purse down and I took a deep, deep, deep breath and just, okay, I'm going to accept myself and I'm going to accept that they don't know me because I haven't introduced myself to them. So I went up to so many people and talked to them like, I'm a friend of the brides. How do you know her? My name's Ruth. What are you doing? And just started energetically kind of pushing that energy of like, I want to be accepted. I want to know who you are too. So I want to accept your energy. So you're more accepting of my energy. I ended up having a great time and met a whole bunch of brand new people that are really fun and very exciting. And it was kind of great to just meet some new people that are outside of my normal realm, outside of what I would normally uh, meet in people because she has friends from all different walks of life. And that was the really fun part for me is once I got over my fear of not being accepted, I felt accepted by everybody and I had a great time. So the last card I'm going to pull for us about this energy is new beginnings. So one of the things that's really important is this isn't really the time to start a whole bunch of new beginnings, but as we let things go, what do we want to start? 
kind of where do we want to start? So for me, it was like understanding that the energy I brought into that room, I need to begin again. I need to start that energy again. I need to accept myself so other people will accept me as well. And I ended up having a great time. But so many times when we let something go, there's a blank spot there and we need to put something in that space. We require something new in that space. So what is it that you choose to put in that space at this time? What is it that you're choosing to put in the space that you've let go of something? You have the fear of something, let that go. And then what do you put in that space? Usually I'll tell you a little secret. It's usually 180 degrees off of what you let go of. So if you released your fears, maybe you're stepping into your belief. Maybe you're stepping into your own power. Maybe you're stepping into something new and different. doesn't matter. Change those belief systems for yourself and let it go. And that is the really fun, cool part about our last quarter moon in the sign of Aries. I thank you so much for joining me today. And I know that we'll be talking again soon.